Okay, everybody, welcome to the first installment of my server slash BitTorrent slash gaming machine upgrade. I'm upgrading from a uh, Asus P5B Deluxe with a uh, Antec P180 enclosure. And uh, the only thing that I'm keeping is the motherboard, and I've got a new Antec P182 case. A couple of reasons I'm changing the case. Number one, I like the outside of it. I got the gunmetal black. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of videos on YouTube with upgrades with this particular case. I happen to love it, love Antec, I always have. I've owned 10 or 15 different cases from Antec. So I'm sure this one won't, won't uh, disappoint either. So I got my delivery today. It's uh, June 25th. Just got home from work and had all these boxes sitting at my doorstep. So uh, I wanted to videotape the unboxing, as it were. So here we go. This is the first little box. I'll start off with those. And I should have RAM coming, CPU. Got some Skype fans, some other stuff. And this looks like a power supply. And it is. This is a Rosewill RP550 power supply. And this is actually going in a case that I'm building for a friend of mine. So this isn't going in my upgrade. I ordered some other parts for other people too, so not everything is included with this upgrade, but I've been real impressed with Rosewill. Their cases are very nice and wanted to try out the power supplies. So I got a 550 for uh, that particular customer. And let's see if there's anything else in here. I doubt it, because this came from Tennessee, which is a little unusual. A lot of... Uh, Park suppliers ship out of California, and this one happened to come out of Tennessee, that's why it's all by itself. So let's go to the next case, and yes, I am a music pirate. Bigger case, I bet the uh, CPU and my video card and whatnot are in here. Should have turned the fans off because these popcorn are flying all over the place. Okay. This is my RAM. I got uh, OCZ uh, 8500 RAM. Uh, this motherboard is actually for another install I'm doing. It's a uh, Intel motherboard, just your standard everyday motherboard from Intel for this. Uh, it's going to go with the Rosewell power supply. Got some other goodies in here. Oh boy, really excited about this. This is my EVGA 8600 GT video card. 512 megabytes of DDR3 memory and DirectX 10 ready and HDCP capable. Can't wait to see this. It's a single slot video card with dual DVI output. So I'll use this card as a uh, secondary monitor for my Mac and the primary video for my gaming BitTorrent machine slash server. Got this for about $109, I think. Can't believe it. Any 8000 series card with 512 megabytes for a little over 100. Unbelievable. Love NVIDIA. Been using ATI for a while. I, I currently have an X800 video card in the computer that I'm upgrading, so I hope to see quite a performance boost. Uh, I think the clock cycles are from 375 
this goes up to 600 or 650, something around there. Later on in the next videos, I'll get very specific about uh, uh, clock speeds and stuff. So, let's see what else we got in here. Oh yeah, I got some uh, thermal grease remover. First time I've used this, I've seen a lot of uh, people talk about this in videos. It should clean the surface of the CPU and the heat sink real well when reapplying uh, heat sinks. So I'm going to try that out for the first time. And here's the big daddy. Oh yeah. Intel Core 2 Quad. This is a quad core processor. It is the Q6700, 2.66 gigahertz, 8 meg L2 cache. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to overclock this bad boy to well over 3 gigahertz with my Asus P5B motherboard. Uh, can't see why I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm, I'm overclocking a... Uh, dual core right now to 3.06. Uh, I think it's the E6300 dual core. So I'll be uh, anxious to see what this uh, bad boy will do. Let's see if there's anything else in here. And I don't think there is. Boy, that's an awful lot of popcorn for Three pieces and this. That big old box and all that popcorn, unbelievable. But better safe than sorry, I guess. Oh yeah, also got a free copy of uh, Unreal Tournament 3 with my video card. That was a nice little add-on, $49 retail. It's got the key code on it, so I'm good to go. I'll make sure to black that out when it goes up on YouTube. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll give a closer look at the uh, RAM. OCZ High Performance DDR2 PC28500. Got two sticks of two gigs each. And I'll make adjustments in the BIOS so that Windows will see probably a little bit more than three gigs. Um, I'll more than likely do a dual boot with uh, some flavor of Linux, probably SUSE 11, which just came out not too long, I think a week or two ago. I'll use the 64-bit version. I'm kind of curious to see how much RAM will show up in that. Uh, love OCZ memory. Been using it for a while. Never had heat problems. Uh, I'll be able to put probably 2.1 volts on this and won't have to worry about overheating or anything. Love OCZ RAM. I know everybody's real big on Corsair, but I think you, you pay a lot for the name get just as good a performance uh, with the OCZ RAM. So let's move on to my most favorite part. And that's the case. 